Hi folks, Brian Strausser, Principal and CEO at Brightpath, here with an update on Hurricane Dorian for Saturday evening, August 31st, 2019. Hurricane Dorian is currently expected to bring life-threatening storm surge, dangerous winds, and significant infrastructure damage to much of the Florida Peninsula beginning on Monday. The storm is also forecasted to shift to the north, so similar impacts as we'll see in Florida are now very possible in Georgia, South Carolina, and perhaps even North Carolina. Evacuations are currently underway in Florida and additional evacuation orders for the other states may follow. The risk of strong winds and dangerous surge is, in, is increasing along the coast of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and we expect to see those impacts in the middle of the coming week with the current forecasted track. Residents in these areas should continue to monitor the progress of Hurricane Dorian. If you're an individual watching this video, keep your vehicle fully fueled, stock your vehicle with the emergency supplies like food and water, and listen carefully for specific instructions from local emergency and public safety personnel. If you're ordered to evacuate, don't hesitate. Understand the hurricane evacuation timelines and then go. Dorian is moving quickly and its storm track continues to shift and it can still change very quickly, just as we've seen in the last 24 hours. If you or your business operations are anywhere in the forecasted path, then you should be taking steps to prepare for Dorian right now. Let's talk a little more about where the storm is at and what's happening currently. Hurricane Dorian has shifted somewhat overnight, and as of about two hours ago, it is 385 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida, in the Atlantic Ocean. Dorian is currently an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane with winds in excess of 150 miles an hour, and it's currently moving west at just 8 miles per hour. So it means the storm has slowed down a lot, and forecasters are predicting that it could slow down even further. Hurricane force winds currently extend outward as far as 30 miles from the center of the storm, with tropical storm force winds extending outward up to about 115 miles. It's extremely difficult right now to predict that the direction the storm is going to move. As we've seen in the last 24 hours, it can shift. The National Hurricane Center anticipates the storm is going to dump a lot of water via rain on the Bahamas presently and then continue this north, northward turn that will bring it off the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas. But it's important to point out that the storm track could shift again, just as we've seen in the last 24 hours. That final track of the storm will really determine the forecasted impacts, how much rainfall, storm surge, and wind will depend a lot on the direction that the storm moves. Right now, the National Hurricane Center predicts four to six inches of rainfall is likely for most of Florida, six to 10 inches of rainfall in Georgia, and North and South Carolina could see around 10 inches based upon the current storm track. As far as the overall intensity of the storm, we expect to see some fluctuations in the storm in terms of intensity. We do believe though that it will remain a category four as it approaches Florida and then makes its move to the north along the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas. Other important information right now, the US Coast Guard is reporting that the ports of Key West and Miami had closed at noon today, Eastern time, and other ports along Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas are completing their final preparedness activities and making plans to close. Georgia and Florida have fully activated their state emergency management agencies and emergency operations centers. North Carolina will partially activate theirs tomorrow afternoon, and South Carolina will be at a full activation beginning tomorrow night. Right now, businesses should be focused on a few key important preparedness steps. The first is the life safety of your employees. Make sure that you are giving them enough time to evacuate and you're making plans to close your business in plenty of time in advance of the hurricane's landfall. Second, that you're taking steps to protect your assets through hurricane shutters, verifying building details, and making sure that you're boarding windows if necessary. Third, that you're verifying contact information for your employees and letting them, letting them know where to call to get information about the status of your business. Fourth, that you're encouraging personal preparedness for your employees and their families. And again, you can find those resources at ready.gov, a part of the Ready campaign from FEMA and DHS. And then lastly, make sure that your, you and your organization are ready to respond. Make sure your crisis teams are in place, 
you're participating in federal or state emergency management calls for the private sector, and that you're making plans to monitor and listen carefully to guidance and direction from your local emergency services and public safety personnel. If you're an individual in the potentially impacted areas, let's keep your preparation steps simple. Make sure you're monitoring local conditions and you're following direction from local emergency management and public safety personnel. And keep it simple. Keep your vehicle fully fueled. Stock your vehicle with emergency supplies like food and water. Listen for specific instructions from local personnel. And then lastly, if you're ordered to evacuate, don't hesitate, go. You can learn more about our hurricane crisis management services that can help your company uh, or organization at brightpath.com slash hurricanes. And if we can help you or your organization in any way, don't hesitate to reach out 24 seven at 612-235-6435. We'll have another update tomorrow and keep an eye on our Facebook page for other critical updates at facebook.com slash brightpath. Good luck.